Hey guys, me again. So I'm gonna do um, another video real quick, kind of predicting the um, all around finals at the Olympics. So all the countries and all the world and all of the athletes going for the all around. Um, I'm gonna start with the women's for this video. Um, I'm kind of doing this on the spot, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't really prepare for this at all. Um, but I want to, I, I don't want to forget to to do it. So I'm gonna kind of bang these out real quick. I think that for, first of all, let me just start by saying, please watch the entire video before you decide to comment that I left somebody out or that I that I didn't, you know, remember somebody or, or whatever. I feel like on my first video, people watched like me list the team. And everybody was like, oh my gosh, where's Gabby? Why didn't you put Gabby on the team? Why is there no Gabby? You're crazy. She's the second best all around her. Where's Gabby? And if you watch the whole video, I did a pretty thorough explanation of why Gabby was not on in my top five. And it wasn't, you know, a diss to her. This isn't dissing any athletes. This is just kind of my personal opinion in my thought processes, but there is a little bit of, there is some thought that goes into it. So I mean, every decision that I've made, at least in that video, was very like well thought out and considered everything. And if you watch the whole video, you would know. So watch the whole video of this one before you start yelling at me, please and thank you. But um, on the flip side, this one isn't as kind of thought out and, and prepared as the last one was. So I mean, we'll see what comes out of my mouth. Um, so for the all around, I think barring anything catastrophic, like, um, you know, an injury or like three falls on events, I mean, I feel like Simone is going to win the gold medal. Even if she, say, she falls on floor, she, she'll she still score like in the high 14s, which would be enough to, to medal on that event. Um, Similarly, on vault, um, she can fall on her air and and still score like a, a 15. So, I mean, it, it's it's going to be really difficult for her not to win unless, again, she maybe has multiple falls and, you know, whoever's coming up behind her also has to hit the competition of their lives for her to, to not win. I'm um, barring an injury. Knock on wood. Um... But yeah, I think Simone's kind of got first place locked. Second place um, is a little tougher. I feel like it's likely going to go to whichever, I was, I was gonna try to come up with a name, but to be honest, it's whichever US gymnast um, ends up making the all around. So whether that ends up being Gabby, if it's Allie, if it's Maggie, if it's Lori, um, I think that spot is a little bit more up for grabs than the, the first place, than gold medal. I think Simone's got that on lock. I think second place could go to whichever, whoever is the second U.S. gymnast. Um, I I would hope for it to be Allie, only because she got a little gypped at the last Olympics where she tied for bronze but ended up getting bumped to fourth because of the stupid tie-breaking rules which I did a video about so you can go check that out and comment your thoughts on that but um so I, I I'm hoping for Allie and plus I she's one of my she's one of my favorites she's a kind of a hometown fav favorite I'm from the Massachusetts area so I kind of root for her regardless um so I think she could be second place but I also think there are a couple of international athletes who can sneak up in there um Larissa Yordaki I would love for her just because of all the turmoil that Romania's been through. I would love for her to end up on the podium. I know she's got this nagging injury. I hope it's healed by then and she can come back strong, but it's really hard to, to tell um, whether or not an athlete is going to be amongst the, the top crew um, when they're returning from an injury. So I guess we'll see. Same thing with Musta. Unfortunately, she's got this injury, this nagging injury, which is really unfortunate for the Russians considering Komova isn't going to be able to compete, which was very sad when I heard that news. I was I, I felt really bad. Um, and uh, Afeniseva also has an injury, so Russia's hurting a little bit over there as well. But I feel like um, Ellie Black has got a shot to make the podium, second or third. 
Um, I think that she is just gonna have to work on her execution a little bit. Straight legs, pointed toes, like that kind of things. So I feel like she gets tenthed to death. They kind of nail her on those little things. So if she could clean that up, she's got a shot. I think Julia Steingruber, I actually really like her. She's I, I like her as an international gymnast. Um, she's got to hit that beam, though. I mean, she, she struggles on hitting, being consistent on beam. I mean, her vault and her floor, no problem. Um, her bars, she does what she can. Bars is not her event. Um, obviously, but it's that pesky beam. She she struggles to be consistent on that. But if she could hit that beam when it counts, I think she can be up there. And I also think that some of the British athletes um, have a chance, um, particularly Ellie Downey and Claudia Fragapani, who she's my favorite British athlete or British gymnast rather. Um, Claudia, she has the same issue I think as Juliana, where she can't seem to put it all together when it counts um, at a competition. So she would really have to, she would have to hit, and she hasn't really done it yet, hitting on all four events and going four for four, but she would have to do that. And I think she could have a chance of being on the podium. But if I had to pick three, I would go with Simone as gold, Allie as silver, and Julia Steingruber, I think as bronze. I think that she was second in qualifications at Worlds when she did hit. I know that Allie and Gabby did not hit in qualifications, so it might be a little skewed, but I think she's in that, that top list. I also like Shang Chung Sung, I think is the one that I like um, from China with that crazy floor routine where she does like a three and a half punch front and then one and a half through to triple punch front, like that craziness. She's insane. Um, but she only does a full twist in your chenko as a vault, so I think she would need to upgrade that in order to get up into those rankings. Um, so those are my thoughts. Um, comment down below. Let me know if you agree or disagree. Don't yell at me. Um, look, these are just my opinions. It's not, you know, I'm not trying to diss any athletes or anything like that. Um, I hope you've watched the whole video, so I hope you're watching this part as you're commenting. Um, and let me know your thoughts. I mean, it's an interesting topic of conversation. I want to hear how people feel. So um, comment below and let me know if you want me to do any other particular um, videos about gymnastics or, or whatever. I also am a dance and cheerleading aficionado, so let me know what you guys are looking for. Thanks. Happy gymnastics -ing.